how do you feel about some deal breakers? You have to imagine that you're single. Okay, what's explain deal breakers to me? It means like I'm um, dating a girl and X happens and is that yeah, a deal breaker? Exactly. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh okay, so wait. Uh which one are we starting with? Inverted breasts. Um <laughs> Not that bad though, right? No, you could probably get through it. Look at mine. They're not inverted. Uh okay. So you've been dating Megan Sherwin for six months. That's just a you made that name up or I'm supposed to recognize that name. No. This is a fictitious person. You've been... D Listen. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I just got scared that maybe this is a big actor and i not knowing who... Right. No, I understand what you're saying. Okay. This is totally Completely a fictional fic person. Yes. Okay. Great, 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 great. Good. I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Okay. No, sorry. You're single. Okay. Great. Oh, that sounds so fun. This is going to be a blast. What happens? You've been dating Megan Sherwin mm -hmm. for six months. Okay. She's a nonprofit travel coordinator for Doctors Without Borders. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She's funny, cute, and smart. Mm -hmm. One evening, back at her place, over crudite with hummus, she says, ask me who the naughtiest person I've ever made out with. Okay. Megan, who's the naughtiest person you've ever made out with? I French kissed my brother. It's mm. not that big of a deal. How I old were you? How old were you? Like, I can't believe you launched right into. Uh, um, if you I were three four, years old, no, 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 a, no, no biggie. I was fifteen. How old was he? Eighteen. Ay, ay, ay. Um. <laughs> by the way, I'm not out. No, I'm not out. I'm not out. Because here's my next question. Yeah. Have you had any sexual like trauma prior to this? Have you been molested or anything? Fuck no. You just were horny for your brother. No, I wasn't horny. I just didn't want to know how to make out with somebody. And then you kissed your brother. Yeah, wasn't that a good deal? I mean, I would. I'm going to pretend it's a deal breaker because we're we're in public. But I, I don't know that I care. I I like this person. Right, this is a good person. Six months. Yeah. I, I, let me, I guess here's my follow up question: Do you regret that, or do you, would that something you would do again? I'm not going to do it again. But no, you know, say la vie, like. I always keep an open mind. It's kind of punk rock. I'm in. I'm still in. <laughs> so it's not a deal breaker. It's not a deal breaker, no. no. <laughs> All right. That's but I'll tell something you why. kind of I'll hot I'll about I'll tell you why. This your like, weirdness. It, this seems kind of victimless. That's why I asked, was there it's sexual true. trauma? Yes. There's not. So nope, she's not she just wanted to see how any weird feel. damage. Right. Uh, presumably yeah. he's not. Come on. The, the, honestly. But you, there's something, something wrong with the brother, though, right? He's 18 years old. I wouldn't. I, it'd be a deal breaker for him if I were dating him. Gotcha. You dated, gotcha. You kissed yeah, your yeah, yeah, sister because yeah, yeah. there is a victim. There, in there my is a, exactly. Yes. I'm totally yeah. with you on yeah. that. If you were dating him, wait. Yeah. What did I miss? Let's say I'm dating the brother you kissed, and he says I made out with my 15 year old sister. That's a deal breaker yeah. for me because you probably victimized her. Now you wanting to make out with your 18 year old brother, you didn't victimize him. It's fucking weird. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I have a sister. The thought of it's gross, but I'm not super judgmental of what you wanted to do on one given day. It's not a big deal. Dax, this is so <laughs> fucked up. It's really not. There are much worse things to do. Yeah, there's yeah. things like where you could like, I don't know, bury an entire family in a cave or like... Do they deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of other fucked up shit you could do. Yeah. That's not a deal breaker for me. Okay, I'm just all being right. honest okay. with you. You know what? Hit me I, with another I, one. All right. You yeah. know, fine. Oh, God, I'm mad. We'll get him. We'll get him with right, one of them. All right, fine. How do you proceed? You're directing the sequel to Chips. Mm -hmm. One of the actresses has a one-line role. Mm -hmm. She knocks on your trailer door while you're having a meeting with producers. Mm -hmm. You open the door and you say, um, wait, well, listen, we'll, we'll act it out. Okay. Hey, I'm so sorry to interrupt you. I just had a, like a quick question about my line. Sure. What is it? Um, so, um, my quick motivation. Okay. So I know that when you pull over my boyfriend, mm -hmm. um, I'm supposed to be defensive of him. Mm -hmm. And I was going to say like, you know, my scripted line is, um, honey, don't say anything. Right. Um, but I was thinking that I could do something a little bit different. Um, I'm so sorry. I see that you're like with everybody here, mm -hmm. but, um, but I wanted to throw a couple of ideas by you. Great. Um, so one of them would be something like, um, like, you know what? 
I'd rather be surprised. Here's what it would be my preference. We do it as scripted. We make sure we get it. Mm-hmm. So we'll do it four or five times okay. or however, however many times it takes. Oh, my God. And then yes. you can surprise me. Oh, my okay? God. Let's okay. do it that way. Okay. All right. Take um, care. Okay, wait. Wait. Um, before you shut the door. <laughs> yeah. Um, one more thing. Um, okay. So I was supposed to be in like this um, like jumpsuit thing mm-hmm. or something like that. But mm-hmm. I, w- I brought my own wardrobe and I was hoping that you could like get final approval over it because wardrobe was saying that. Um, I have to wear what they were saying mm-hmm. that I should wear, but I was hoping that I could. What's the other outfit? Could, um, how how much does it brought, deviate from a jumpsuit? Um, it's sort of like a like a little crop top thing, uh-huh. and but I think it really says something to my character. Yeah, um, that's fine. And um, I, I would want I want you to be comfortable and confident. That's all I care about. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Um. Okay, but I was also saying that um, w- like when like the character your character pulls over my boyfriend, mm-hmm. um. And you, and I'm like, you know, you're like freeze or whatever. Um, and I say, um, honey, don't say anything. I, I was thinking then at that point I pull out my cell phone and I'm like, I'm going to call, I'm calling my lawyer because my character mm-hmm. actually has a, her dad is really well connected, mm-hmm. um, to, um, I'm going to stop you right there. Lawyer. Natasha, what was it? Tash. Tash. Okay. So when you say my character, do you know I invented the character you're talking about because I wrote it? Like the character you're referencing, I invented and I spent the last two years thinking about that character. And you my spent character? I think, the last 17 minutes <laughs> f- f- judging solely on the merit of your idea. I feel like maybe you've put about 17 minutes of thought into this. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Am I right? I feel okay. Like I I have to go early. because we only have a half hour lunch. Oh, wait, I yeah. just want to do a last one. Of okay, other last one. Okay. Well, then yeah, order yeah. Before you say any, I need you to agree that this is the last one. Do we agree on that? Last one. What? The last question. <laughs> on your. Because if you can't mind. agree on the last question, then there's zero questions. So your options are one question or zero questions. What what option do you want to take? Do you want to ask talking me a to like question or am I going to ask you a question? You're going to ask one more question, or you're going to ask zero questions. What would you like to choose? I guess I'll ask you a question, Mr. Okay, Director. So one, one more question. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, when you pull us over, mm-hmm. so I, I conceive that my father is a high-powered attorney in mm-hmm. Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. So, I, therefore, I am able to protect my boyfriend mm-hmm. from your chip status. You know uh-huh, what I'm saying? Right. Right. So, um, therefore. Where else I'm going to um, pursue a lawsuit mm-hmm. against Chips mm-hmm. <laughs> um, on behalf of my wear her out boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> so what I would say to that is you could do that, but I just want to warn you that we have a lot of characters to service in this picture. There's a lot of folks that are in it and we won't have time to cover that. So if you do all that, which you can do, I don't, I want you to have a Thank good time you. while you're here. I will cut it out though. There just won't be time. So you can do it if that's something you think will be really fun. You know what? I think you're going to question that okay. at the end of the day. Okay, great. I surprise me. Okay. Okay. Take care. Oh we'll gosh. see you on Saturday. I love working with you. Thank you. I, I like it too. Thank you so much. Okay. Great. <laughs> My God, this is so awesome. Now, was that a deal breaker situation? Should I, was, the, was I supposed to fire that person? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you kind of want to work with her though? I want to work with her as another actor, not as the person in charge of making a day. <laughs> yeah. I think I'd be, I think it'd be a f- really fun train wreck to watch, uh, in a scene. Well, I've seen n- not that extreme, but sure. I've, I've seen people look, we're the worst people on the planet actors. We want more attention than is right to want. I know. So we're all in there just trying our hardest to get attention. So yeah, I've seen. A lot of sh- stupid shit. Blow I've been, your I've candles, been, Dex. <laughs> I've been, I guarantee some directors would say I was that person. I'm sure. It, no. Oh, I have no way, way too many ideas. Wait. I mean, I don't think my ideas were that delusional, but I definitely think I've probably had too many ideas on movies where guys were like, look, man, good on you. I, I appreciate how uh, invested you are, but we just, I, we don't have time for any of this. You know, I assume that's happened. I don't believe it. You don't. 
Okay, good. Well, because I, I think no that all of your that. ideas are valid. You're a brilliant, man. <laughs> Thank you. I, you know, just because an idea is good doesn't necessarily mean it needs to live in this scene. I think as an actor, here's the problem most actors have. I certainly have it when I'm acting. You're very myopic. All you're looking at is this moment, this scene, this 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 conversation between you and I. Uh, that's what you're looking at. You're not looking at how that's playing into the next 12 scenes or the overall arc or the overall story or how it's playing, how it's going to pay off in yep, the, in the yep, third act. Right. In, nor should you be because then you're not present. But so your job is, as an actor is to be super present. And to have really insane ideas that don't add up at the end. And then it's the director's job to have a macro view and go, okay, some of these ideas, here's the ideas that are good. The ones that make it are the ones that can live within also this overarching story that you've been commissioned to tell. And a lot of my ideas, I'm sure at times were completely non sequiturs and would have taken the scene off, <sighs> off course. Dax, you're really smart. I feel frustrated by really, how intelligent you are. This is a real flatter party. I love it. <laughs> I'm going to come to your podcast every night. Can we do Karen Sarducci? Yeah, let's do it. Now that just, I'm so sorry to <laughs> beat a dead horse, but again, this is a fictitious person. Karen Sarducci. Because that sounds yeah. like, can I tell you what that sounds like? It sounds like a radio DJ on um, uh, Coast. Doesn't that sound it like does. that? It does. Yeah, Coast I'm 101. Karen Sarducci, right. or whatever the name is. Sarducci. It's not. It's okay. Karen Sarducci. She is a. Uh, she's a film exec. She runs Imaginarium Studios. Film exec. Okay. A film I'm head. A, a studio head. She's okay. a studio head. Okay. Great. Great. Of Imaginarium. And I'm her assistant, Donovan. Okay. Great. So you have a general with her. Okay. Great. And um, I'm about to take you in right now to just see... one. The one. Just one quick question. Sure. Is this a for real studio or is this like a bullshit? Are they, this is a, one of the big players. This is a legit place with some opportunity. It's Imaginarium. There. Well, I know, and because it's Imaginarium, I need to clarify if it's like <laughs> on par with Sony and Warner Brothers and, and Paramount. DreamWorks. It's okay, great. Okay, good. Let's proceed. Would you? Uh, okay. Oh, wait, you're here, Dax yeah. Shepard. You're here. Always okay. early. I'm always. Early. Uh, would you like something to drink? Yeah, coffee, please. Coffee, black. black. Absolutely. And oh, here you go. And Thank here you. is Karen Sarducci. Karen, I'd like you to meet Dax Shepard. Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh. I love your office. Thank you so much. They gave you that helmet from the movie? Yeah. Well, we sort of invented the helmet. Oh, you? <laughs> um, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day. Yeah. Um, I've been a big fan of yours for a long time. Really? Yeah. Thank that, you thank so you. much. And congratulations. What on did you your watch? You seem like you would have watched Parent, Parenthood. Is that your kind of show? Debut. You know what? I don't watch a lot of television. Oh, you don't. But I do watch a lot of movies. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As you know, we are in the movie industry. I wanted to throw. I know that now. Not only are you acting, but um. You're also writing. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to throw a couple of ideas past you. Okay. If you don't mind. Yeah. Um, and just see where your mind takes you. Okay, great. Uh, the first idea. Um, so we, um, as you know, the Chinese market is huge right now. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's sort of where we have to expand globally. Mm -hmm. Um, but, um, we, so we wanted to uh, sort of think about the idea of a kung fu movie. Okay, great. Which is one of the reasons I brought you in here. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, Milo and Ventimiglia, my children. Uh huh. Uh, Milo is 14, Ventimiglia is 16. Uh, -huh. uh they really have their finger on the pulse of Hollywood. Okay. Um, they came up with a title while we were on vacation in Sardinia. Uh huh. Um, of fisting. Do you and you do you know the other meaning for fisting? By the look on your face, it seems that you don't know the other meaning. Let's just. I assume that it's a strong fist going into somebody's face, or that is uh, definitely one side of the word. But another one is is a pretty strong sexual innuendo. Uh, huh. it, it's a term for a very aggressive sex move, and I don't think the Chinese are going to love it. Let's not underestimate the Chinese. <laughs> You're right. Culturally, who knows if they do that act or not, but, um, just uh, assuming that they might find out 
Uh, it mm. is a, a very, very violent and aggressive and potentially um, reproductive. So you're closed down to the idea of... If it being called fisting. Now, at Kung Fu, bring it on. Your kids' ideas, mm. love it. Um, China, mm. let's go. Beijing the hard way. Mm. But fisting is probably... That title probably is... Probably not gonna. I don't think that would that would work great. I'm disappointed, Donovan. <laughs> yes. Yeah, did you already like have uh, toys made and stuff? We already have a start date. We already have the one sheet printed up as well. So the oh, movie do. poster is all set up and ready to go. It's, it's we can't we can't change it now. It's called. It's, it's going to be called too late. fisting. Yeah. What What do you think you'd pay me for this? Because I might, you know. Well, well you know, we wanted. To... It sounds like it would end my career, and but but I have a price for that, so I would I would sell you the rest of my career for a certain million. price. I, I ain't gonna need more than that, I think, because I'll never work again. So, <laughs> and I'm only forty one. So, and I have two kids. You can go twelve million. Let's do twenty three. I tell you what, for fifty million dollars, I'll direct the shit out of fisting. <laughs> okay, I'll direct Donovan? that thing in circles. Um. I think we can make it work. Okay, great. I did. Well, you get some of that Chinese money on the table. That's why. Okay. Um, What's the other project? Maybe it's better. The other one. Uh, so Milo and Ventimiglia, mm -hmm. they love Coachella. Oh yeah, yeah. It's great. You love Coachella as well. I've never been, but the idea of it excites me. Uh, oh. Yeah. Huh. I just love crowds and being crammed into places <laughs> and having to wait in line. It's it's awesome. Also, I love dust and bad parking. That sounds great, too. And I love being in people's Instagram photos. Donovan, yeah. do you sense sarcasm? No, I think he really does love all yeah. of that stuff. I mean, if there's anything I love, it's um, it's posing for, for um, pictures for Facebook. That's like, if I had my choice, I'd spend my day doing that. So Coachella, obviously, would be a great place. Well, the movie is going to be called Coachella Squad. Donovan, shut the fuck up. This is my pitch. Not yours. I'm sorry. Now, I thought you were. Has anyone sarcastic. ever told you you have a very sexy voice? She gets told that all the time. Is it true you used to do voiceover for Tampax commercials? Women canoeing, enjoying the outdoors while. Donovan, sarcasm gauge. Level no, he's, of he's, one to five. He, um, he's not being sarcastic at all. Very sincere. You have a great voice. Thank it's you. It's husky as fuck. Holy smokes. Thank you. You're welcome. Is it cool if I remove my pants for the rest <laughs> of this meeting? Donovan? I'm cool with it if you're cool with it. Yes, we are cool with it. Okay, great. Let me just get out of it. Okay. Please remove yep. your pants. Great. Okay. There we go. Let's hear it. <clears throat> Milo and Ventimiglia. Oh my God, your pants are off. Coachella. They love. Did you say the word Coachella three or four times? In <clears throat> Coachella. We have a movie idea around the idea of Coachella. Mm. Uh, it's called Coachella Squad. Coachella Squad. Squad. Chokella. Chokella Squad. Let's say you are an undercover cop. Uh huh. Investigating an ecstasy ring uh -huh. run by a squad of girls. Okay. All this takes place during the Hawk Flies Fur set. Mm hmm. So it's like you're told in real time, kind of, it sounds like, right? Yeah. About a 90 minute show. Let's concert. say, yeah, let's say. Oh, I love that it. Because it'd be like Birdman, up, maybe no cuts. You're going undercover at Coachella. Mm hmm. How are you going to do that? How would I go undercover? Uh, definitely a roadie. Because I'm pretty old, as you can see. I think the only business I would have there would be a roadie so that would give me access. So you speakers or? Scaffolding, speakers, running lights, running cable, all that kind of stuff. And that, that would give me access. How are you going to get in with the hipster types that are hiding under the shade and the sprinklers? Well, I would just, you know, I would get a laminate. I think that those are pr probably pretty easy to knock off. And I would have a... Uh, a shirt on that said staff and I would bring a ton of cable. I just have so much cable around my midsection. And then I think I'd be able to slide in and out of places pretty easy, including the uh, female squad. I just don't know how, if, how are you going to make friends with these young ladies 
who are dealing ecstasy all over the place. Backstage passes. I'm sorry. Okay, backstage passes. Well, I'll tell you how um, people on ecstasy are invariably going to have to come down. And if I have a lot of Xanax, uh, that's something they're going to need. You know, what you want to do is is oh, figure out wh- what someone is, needs. What? We don't want the next day. You, okay. We need the night of. Okay, you want you don't want the night of. Okay, then, uh, you know, in that case, I guess I would have uh, signed Zac Efron posters I'd probably bring with me. Um, oh, I like this. Which would probably Donovan, I like this. Peak, peak their curiosity mm-hmm. and interest. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, I would probably just, uh, I'd probably trank dart them, you mm-hmm. know. And then uh, when trank they... Trank dart, what does that mean? A tranquilizer gun I'd bring with ooh, me and I would, ooh, I I would like dart this. them. And then they would come to in my uh, my yurt, you know, that kind of Mongolian tent. Yeah. They'd come to in there and I'd tell them, uh, good news, uh, Coachella is going to be extended indefinitely. Just got the funding and you're going to be able to live your life out here uh, at Coachella for the rest of your life till you're a very old person. Okay. And you're going to die dancing, which I think is everyone's dream. <clears throat> And if I can get them to buy into that dream, then I think I could bring them down. Donovan, do I'm we, buying into the dream right now. Do we buy into the dream? That's the question. Do you want to die dancing? In fact, I think that would be a great tagline for Coachella Squad: Die dancing. <laughs> die dancing. You know what I'm saying? I I like this. You do. I think that Milo and Ventimiglia both could. I feel like they would relate to this. They'd stream it on their iPhones. I really do. Great. Both of those children, you know, they they are in touch with sort of the earth and whatnot. And yeah, they sound like real salt of the earth kids. They're in Sardinia <laughs> and whatnot, so and wonderful. at Coachella, they sound pretty uh, accessible to most Americans. They're so wonderful. They're yeah, <laughs> I bet when they visit their cousins in Milwaukee, they don't alienate them at all. That's my hunch about your kids. I can't pronounce the second one's name, Mil- but it's Vilmilia. Is that what it was? Oh, Ventimilia. Ventimilia. Is that a flower? <laughs> Donovan, he's so funny. He's hysterical. He's so funny. Oh my gosh, we so want to be in business with you. Oh, great. Yeah. Dax, thank you so much. What's the bu- Can I just ask the budget before we. Um, $750,000. 700, no, 80 to 90 million. Either seven hundred and fifty thousand or eighty to ninety million. Well, we, a, we can we can work something out. We'll figure it out. Okay, great. Okay, yeah. Thank I've, you so much. No problem. And uh, Donovan. Yes. Don't ever say the fucking budget before I do. Sorry. Um. Do we? Can I validate him? Would you like validation? You know what? I rode my motorcycle and I'm just gonna blow through the gate anyways. Okay. Oh, yeah. You're good. Right. Yeah. That's good. Oh, well, don't crash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can't promise. Thank you. So <laughs> After this much. meeting, I might willingly do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's the word. You want to be that person secretly, it's don't so you? So do. Yeah. Oh, you kind of. Oh, oh Sorry, Jennifer. Jennifer. Would you want to be that person? Um, I can't imagine anything worse uh, than being a studio executive. It's but, a very hard job. You have to predict the future. <laughs> And there's and no, then they fire you exactly. When, yeah, there's no they, job certainty. No, the 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 promotion is you get fired. That's it. Right. That's you know exactly what's going to happen when you take the job. And there's only what six or seven of those jobs, and that's it. Yeah. And when then, do you have and, to get fired? And fewer and fewer people see movies, and TV's amazing. And, exactly. Yeah, it's a shit job. I know. I sympathize with the people. One more call. Yeah. Let's do it. Please, West Coast. I can't wake another person up. Utah. It's not so bad. They're probably drunk. We're calling Samantha. She's 22. Oh, perfect. <clears throat> no. Samantha who? <laughs> oh, hello. Hey, Samantha. It's Sim. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Doing well. Hi, Anna, Samantha. Anna's here. Hey, Anna. <laughs> uh, so Anna is wants to introduce our special guest to you. Hi, Samantha. It's Dak Shepard as well here. And he is just... Oh, hey. Handsome. Oh, there's there. There's the and reaction. Smart. I was and, praying for fingers crossed. Brilliant, and um, you know me. I sell refrigerators. He gives, on TV. He gives he has some gorgeous great advice wife too. and two beautiful babies. 
And I'm just going to knock him over the head with one of these uh, candelabras like I and normally do. take him to the <laughs> attic. Bury me in your backyard yeah. under the flower the bed. Attic. Oh, the attic. Yeah, Great. Sorry, yeah. Dry, 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 what, dry cure me, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. What you do with me. Although you're looking a little lean. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I could, I could be fatter. Uh, uh, <laughs> Samantha, what city in Utah are you in? Or do you want to remain anonymous? Oh, I'm currently in Eagle Mountain right now. Uh, wow, well, yeah. shit. I thought I was going to blow your mind with my Utah knowledge, but you just exceeded my... <laughs> it's, I think it's I'm near Provo. Provo but... Oh, Provo. Okay, sure. So, Samantha, yeah. you've been with your boyfriend for two years, and you're hesitant to bring up something that's important to you. So tell us a little <laughs> more. Yeah, um, I don't know. I'm just trying to spice things up. I don't want to scare him away, but at the same time, I don't want him to think... How do you want to spice things up? What we have, and that was boring. Tell, tell us like, what you want to do. Know, bring in, bring in the, the swing, the, you know, the whip, the chains, and all that. It's just a whole shebang, but I... I don't know. I don't know how to tell him. <laughs> it's been two years and he has no idea, right? That you feel this way? No, like I painted it to him. Um, actually, had a, it was his family Christmas party. His aunt brought out one of those sex swings and like I hinted it to him. I was like, we should wait. get one. He's like, no. Wait, wait, wait. wait. No. You're somebody who brought out the sex swing? Aunt Rita. <laughs> his aunt. So, his, like it's... his aunt, his family is open minded, but. He's pretty conservative, and but yeah. at least it's like a part of the dialogue. I like that. But what was the context? Why? Why would they? Oh, oh, for fun? Was it like a blind elephant kind of a party, and someone got someone a sex swing? <laughs> no, she just brought it up. We just had a few drinks in us, and she just got a little crazy. And hmm. I don't know, Corbin is just he's just not into it. <laughs> but Do you... and I hinted it to him. I was like, let's get one. He's like, no. No Did he give any reasons why he didn't yeah, want a sex good question. swing? Um, no, he, no reason. I, like, that's the thing is, like, I don't know how to talk well, to him about it. Like, well, what about this? But okay. I wanna... I'm sorry, go on. I want to hear what you have to say before I give my annoying advice. No, go ahead. Give me, give me some good advice. No, no, no. But I want to hear what he, what he said in defense of like. Like why why would why is he resistant? Well, um, he's just I don't know. Yeah, like I said, he's very conservative. Um, Does he think it's amoral? So his aunts and uncles. What was that? Does he think it's immoral to to enjoy sex uh, that aggressively? I guess is it, is it a moral issue? Is he religious? Not religious issue. Yeah, I think it would just be like a moral issue, but I honestly, I don't know. Um, like his mom's side of the family, they're the open-minded ones, but he grew up on his dad's side and they're really religious. So I don't know if that's, you know, he's just like shy about it or like he's just not with it. I, I don't know. Oh. And I don't like, I want to, I want to be like, Hey, let's go. I don't know, let's go get some stuff. But. I don't want to scare him, and I don't want him to think, like, what we have now is boring. Right, 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 right. Okay, so, all right. Oh, boy, this is a tough one. (laughs) Because it's tough because our sexuality, like, taps into, like, our deepest fears and insecurities Mm -hmm. and and vulnerabilities. And so, yeah, it, it, but I wonder if, um, Okay, here's what I'm thinking right off the bat, and let me know if you think that I'm on completely like the wrong track with this. But if okay. you were to maybe, um, my first thought is, um, I and I know that like play acting is really really hard for for a lot of people, but especially hard for guys. But if you were to dress in something. Slightly slutty, not like a costume, but like maybe a cute little short skirt or something slutty. I hate to use that word. I shouldn't use that word, but, but you know, whatever, something a little cleavagey, mm-hmm. something that made you feel sexy. And you said to him, can we kiss like the first time we had kissed before? Like, let's, if you wouldn't mind, can we just like kiss like we'd never kissed before? And sort of go from there and, and then maybe, I don't know, kind of 
I don't know. Are you guys thinking? I have a, wrong? I have a, a very specific thought, but I'm good. I'm, good, I'm good. letting you. No, no, no. I, mean, I don't know. Right. I just was thinking, like, and then maybe like he kind of. I don't know. All right, so, Samantha. This is Dax from the refrigerator commercials. I guess more, qual- um, more qualified. <laughs> He, I, so I have I have hey. been in I've been in similar situations and I think of myself as very sexually adventurous. But here's I think uh, as was earlier said I think sexual things are, are our deepest insecurities because our fear that we can't be everything that our partner wants is terrifying to us. It's terrifying to me, and I think yeah. when you find out that your partner might want to do stuff that you've maybe a never done so you're gonna suck at it or b don't have a natural desire to do your fear is okay well i'm gonna go along with this but because i'm not on the same page i'm gonna suck at it and let them down um it also would would if i'm insecure i would feel like oh god she's wanted all this stuff and i'm not giving her any of this stuff and Mm -hmm. so she's already hates our sex life and i'm already disappointing her and underwhelming her and now here's this new thing that I'm not going to be able to please her with because I have no experience with it. I don't know how to fucking use a sex swing. I don't even know how to hang the thing when it gets to the house. So <laughs> I think the most vital, yeah. vital thing when you bring these things up is to start by saying, I love having sex with you. I think you're so, and you need real examples, the specific things you like about him. You're so patient. You're so slow. You take your time. You're so tender. You last a long time. You play with my clit. You, whatever the X, Y, or Z things are. You need to start with what an amazing yeah. lover he is. And then you say, now, I I want to try new things that I've never done. I don't know how they work. And maybe you've done them. Maybe you've already tried them. But I would love if we could try some things together, learn together, experiment together. I think it's really, really important that he hears, you don't know what the fuck you're doing either. You might suck at it as well. Okay. Um, let's both do this together and fumble our way through it. And maybe it'll be fun and maybe it won't be. And if it's not, then I won't insist we do it more and you won't let me down. And I think you're wonderful in bed. And I'm not wanting to do this because I'm not totally satisfied. I'm wanting to do it because I like to fucking try every flavor at Baskin Robbins. I love chocolate and vanilla, but <laughs> let's try pistachio. I'm really mad at you right now, Dax. Why? Because that was really <laughs> fucking good advice. Yeah, there's really not much more no, anyone yeah, can that say. Was that was fantastic. Really good advice. Yeah, it's just lead, lead with how great he is and like let's take a Ugh. fun left turn together maybe so if you're annoyed. up for it. You're really yeah. annoyed. He's really impressed you tonight, hasn't he? He's impressed all of us. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Dear diary, I mean, Doc Shepard has really fucking annoyed me. Yeah, I, like I had a girlfriend and she said um, at one point she said, I have a drawer full of all this shit, chains and blah, blah, blah. And in my head, I'm like, Wait, what? Can I don't... we go back to that? Yeah. Some girl said, oh, by the way, I have a whole drawer in my house of full chains? of all this stuff, like chains leather like lingerie ducting? with chains on it and gaggers and all this chokers. Really? Yes. This is real. It wasn't me, right? <laughs> it was not you. And my <laughs> first thought was... Well, I've been fucking for a long time and I've never used a choker. This girl clearly super into it because she has a whole drawer of it. And I'm not going to know what the fuck Mm -hmm. I'm doing. I'm going to feel stupid. And she's had all this experience getting choked and hit. I don't personally want to choke or hit someone. It's just not my expression of love. I'm not judgmental of people that are into it. Um, I'll choke uh-huh. maybe a little bit, but hitting people with leather and chains, I don't Wait, know. I, I don't you know, know that's going to be like, it's going to be like Dak Shepard on Honest and quali- <laughs> Unqualified. I'll choke maybe a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little light choking, fine. But that was because that was what was in my comfort zone and what I was used to. And all I heard was, mm, I'm going to disappoint this person. I'm going to be stupid and she's going to feel disappointed. I didn't so hear I, like, oh, this could be this fun experience. I but, just thought, oh, shit, I'm going to let her down. I guess this is like the different conversation that men and women have or don't have with sex. No, oh, totally. Yeah. Being vulnerable about sex is the single. That's why I think a sex relationship, the sexual aspect of a relationship is the single hardest because being vulnerable about it is really, really hard. And it's actually harder for a guy than it is for a girl because in the very traditional gender roles, what's not attractive 
is guys being needy, being vulnerable, being weak. They want to be in control, in charge, taking mm -hmm. control of everything. So for a guy to, to admit uh, an insecurity or be vulnerable, it, it's very scary that we're going to turn you off. So figuring out as a guy how to state your desires without seeming needy is fucking hard. I, I find it hard. What can she do to help him right now? Well, that's what I'm saying. I, I think it should be very much framed as I love our sex life. It's so fucking great. Um, wh would you want to try different flavors with me? I'm not yeah. wanting for anything. I'm not together. lacking. Yeah. Like, believe me, he probably wants to put it in your butt and he's afraid to ask you. So I'm sure you both have a laundry list of things <laughs> you want to try. Samantha, <laughs> we think, we yes. think you have this. I envision you in a sex swing by the end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Let the freak flag fly. <laughs> thank you so much for hanging out yeah, with us. Yeah, thank you so much. And, and let us know how things are going. And because you know what? What you're talking about relates to all of us. Mm -hmm. And that's. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want to try missionary with my wife. I just don't know how to ask her. <laughs> She's not going to like it. <laughs> Experience it together. Okay. <laughs> Good night, Samantha. <laughs> okay, good night. Thank good you, night. guys. All right, so Dax, we're going to try a new segment right now. It's called If the Movie Continued. So what we're going to do is right after a movie, when a classic movie ends, we're going to just do a little role-playing with, with the main characters okay. uh, about what would happen right after you know that movie yeah. ended. Not exactly after, but maybe a couple hours later. Okay. So the movie that, that we have right now. Also, I really liked him. Oh, it's okay. Do you want me to start again, Anna? <laughs> No, it's just pretty being woman obnoxious. so pretty woman this is after richard Gere and julia roberts after they have that whole kissing scene and now they're going to talk about their lives and uh go ahead edward yeah i didn't steal your wallet but um and i know that you're falling in love with me mm -hmm. and i know that um you want me to be like your perfect wife and whatnot but i really 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 want to pursue my career Okay. As well, a prostitute. As a prostitute. I hope mm -hmm. that you'll support me. I wasn't that. expecting that, to be honest. I I, uh, I thought you were going to say something school-related since you had previously expressed a desire to matriculate somewhere. But I, I – uh, that's – so you do want to continue on with – it gives you Edward, fulfillment. It, yeah, it's the only thing that I feel like, man, there's a lot of reward in this. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, I have a ton of money, right? That was that not clear <laughs> when we went shopping and everything, and I drove a Lotus See, Esprit. Now, Edward, this is where you what? under like, why would you do that to me? You're insulting me. You By just telling you I have a lot of money. I am after money. No, 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 no. You just said there were a lot of reward, which I I presume means financial reward, because there's no esteem building, oh is there in the in the profession? So fucking typical. What? You're such a fucking typical. Dude. I am not. You're acting yes. like I'm, I'm some cliche. Yeah, I'm, I'm having an are. honest. What? I'm, uh, I'm being cliche. Yeah. Here's what I'm asking. When you say fulfillment, what, what do you mean? Financial or do you mean no. spiritual? The spiritual, physical, yeah, sometimes financial, whatever. Okay. It, I get to be me. Okay. I get to express myself artistically, which also, yes, might mean sexually. Okay. okay? Uh huh. That's all. Well, Okay, and I'm this sorry is, hold on. if you can't accept that. This is going to blow your mind, but I'm not I'm not immediately opposed to this idea. You're not? No, I have some boundaries. Really? Okay. One of them would be I don't like wearing condoms and I'd prefer not to wear them in our marriage. That's fine. Okay. But it does make me a little nervous um <laughs> knowing that you're going to be sleeping with umpteen gentlemen per year. So, uh, we're going to have to figure out the mechanics of that arrangement. First and foremost, you got to use protection. We're okay. Yes. Nod your head. Yes, Viv. <laughs> Don't act like I'm handcuffing you. I'm just asking you to use a condom. Okay. Secondly, you're going to have to get tested every Friday. Every Friday, you're going to have to get a six hour turnaround RNA test for HIV. Chlamydia, gonorrhea, human okay. papillomavirus. Now, how many polo matches do you want me to attend? Because I am so It sounds tired like you're going to be kind of fucking busy. Like I don't know how many you'll have time. Arm candy. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm sorry. I don't want to fuck all your friends. You're projecting no... right now. You're projecting. You just said that uh, I just want you for pretty arm candy, but that you've not asked me why I want you. That's all your projection. You think your only value is being pretty and being candy on someone's arm. That's you. You're like, you mean, you're you putting that on me. Smart? Incredibly smart. Edward. Yeah. You're like the smartest hooker I've ever met in my life. Edward, no one's ever told me that before. Yeah. You're, I mean, you're mind blowing. You're really, really, you, I can't, you're, you're edible. No, that's not the right word. You are, I can understand what you're saying. You're audible. What you say is audible <laughs> and, it, and it's intelligible. That's what it is. Your sentences mostly make sense. Eddie. Yeah. And I saw you do very simple arithmetic God, and, and you did it great. You did it absolutely great. Stop. Yeah. I'm not trying to, I just, I love you. And if that's something you got to do, um, fine. But you know, we, we do need these safeguards, uh, again, so that I can raw dog you on the weekends. <laughs> okay. I do love to hook mm -hmm. and you love to raw dog. That's right. <laughs> That's the position. That's the situation. When I don't think that's an impasse per se. It just is going to be a pretty technical. Solution I love it when you friend. talk a lawyer. Uh huh. An impasse per se. What does that mean exactly? Well, you know, just that uh, the odds of us both getting what our what we want is very, 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 very incredibly slim. The chance <laughs> of that of us being able to work out the logistics of you hooking and and me. Raw dogging. Ed, God, all this talk about raw dogging makes Ed, me want to get back on that scaffolding. Wait a on minute. On that fire escape. Eddie? Yeah? I heard a rumor. Okay. That you were almost able to... Uh, Suck my own dick. <laughs> I was going to say that you were almost able to, like, um, uh, like, uh, disclaim, like, uh, almost a billion dollars, so you got, like... Oh, right off. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah that that's great. So and then you know, the, the, the clincher is then I filed bankruptcy, so I didn't even pay that debt. That's, that's the real smoke and mirrors. Eddie, that's so smart. Isn't that sexy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Similarly, I, in keeping with that personality, I'm also cheating on you. Although I'm very critical of other people who have cheated in the past. <laughs> very, very critical. But Hypocritically so, as it turns out. Who are you cheating on me with? Different prostitutes, you know, <laughs> much dumber than, uh, or less smart than you, though. Way less smart. Some Thank of them can't you. do arithmetic and are not intelligible. Thank you. Yeah. That makes me feel really But I'm good. being safe with them. Thank I'm extending you. the same courtesy to you that I hope you will extend to me. I think this is going to work. <laughs> me too. I, I want to see this movie. Yeah. It's a it's a little talky this movie. I hope they they this is go a Richard for a, Linklater a jog like the or before sunrise yeah, version. Yeah, yeah. Of it. yes, yeah. I'd, I'd like to see them get out on the town. A it's bit. it's um, pretty woman too. Yep. Pr prettier woman, I prettier think is woman. what it's called. You, <laughs> pretty, you get you get prettier. Pr pr and prettier woman uh, like like gonorrhea. And then like, the third like, the third movie's prettiest woman. Uh, yeah, it's pretty woman. I, prettier woman. I'm out prettiest. with that. Like no way. No way, Jose. No way. Oh, Anna. Oh, look at look at Sim. He's doing that finger. Well, it's 6 a.m. Did you know that, that much time has passed? <laughs> Good night to your listeners. We Follow us on Unqualified on Twitter and Facebook. Sorry, Anna. I have to do this. Yeah, I love it when you do that. Say, say the legal stuff. Yeah. yeah. No, also no, talk it's... about the different uh, the um, side effects Dak of Shepherd, the podcast. Thank you so we much for talk being about here. That. Thank yes, you so much. It was my pleasure. And now you know I'm going to bludgeon you over the head. Okay, I can't wait. And drag you up to the attic. And, and cure me. <laughs> and serve me to your family. I hope I can feed your family. My goal is to feed your family for really? several months, winter months. Yeah. You Thank probably you. do have fucking meat we up in there. Like, well, you do, right? Do it's all about putting meat in the Dear freezer. Dear listeners, right? come on over. We got weird fucking meat. <laughs> <laughs> meat in the freezer. Good night, everyone. Oh, Wait, you awesome. were supposed to say, like, follow us on the shit. I, 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 said, it, I said it, I said it. Hey, dear listeners, <laughs> follow us on the shit. Somebody. She's a